Good evening, graduates, parents, families, friends, community members, staff, and school board members. This evening is a special one for us all. I am honored to be standing here in front of you as the principal of Pella High School. Today, we recognize and celebrate the Pella High School graduating class of 2020. At this time, we would like our graduates to present a salmon-colored rose to someone who has made a significant impact on them during their high school career. Seniors, please present your flowers at this time and return to your seats when finished. And those of you who are joining us on stage, please come to the stage. So much for letting me move. Get up. Get up. Away from Don't these two. Get up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, go back to your seat. At this time, I'd like to introduce the student body vice president, Ms. Annalie Babcock. Annalie is the daughter of Elisa and Douglas Clausen, and Brian and Kara Babcock. Through high school, she was a dedicated member of the Pella Marching Dutch and Jazz One, part of Bravo and Acapella Show Choirs, a member of the National Honor Society, and an avid four square player. <laughs> In the fall, Anna Lee will be attending the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music to study trumpet performance and jazz studies. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Anna Lee Babcock. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to welcome you to our commencement ceremonies. I think it is fair to say that the class of 2020 has faced challenges that no other class has faced. For starters, our graduation was originally scheduled for a month ago. Due to circumstances beyond everyone's control, that was not possible. 
but thanks to our hardworking administration, we are able to be here and have this important ceremony. If you were to look at the class of 2020, the one thing I want you to see is that this class knows how to persevere and that we can do it with smiles on our faces. I am confident that our class will leave here tonight, be able to face whatever lies ahead of us head on, because the class of 2020 is a class worth watching. At this time, I would like to introduce our first student speaker, Hannah Kendall. Hannah Kendall is the daughter of Jamie and Lieutenant Colonel Douglas Kendall. In high school, she has enjoyed being an active member of Showfire, being Bravo and Acapella. She has been president of Speech Troop 123. She is a class secretary of Student Council and the secretary of National Honor Society and a counselor at the Union Street Players Drama Camp. She will be attending the University of Northern Iowa in the fall to major in English education. Please welcome Hannah Kendall.
Next, I would like to introduce our second student speaker, Grayson Parisi. Grayson Parisi is the son of Steve and Lori Parisi. He was involved in Jazz One, Acapella Combo, National Honor Society, was a trumpet section leader for the Pella Marching Dutch, served as the secretary for the Thespian Troop 123, was a senior editor of the Palladium, and spent his last year serving as the student body president of Pella High. This spring, Grayson was chosen for the Des Moines Register's Academic All-State Program and the Governor's Scholar Program. In the fall, Grayson will pursue a degree in foreign service at Georgetown University. Please welcome Grayson Parisi. Today, I want to talk about memories. The funny thing is, they're quite unfair. Memories are not complete with every little detail. Memories only offer the most important, most valuable snippets of our past. Let me ask you, at your most exciting football game, biggest final test, or last homecoming lip sync, do you remember the plays you made, the scores you got, or the songs that were played? Will you remember every word of the speeches you'll hear today? No, you'll remember a few small, select things that your brain just decided were important enough to stay ingrained. What I'm trying to say is that it's not always about the big events, it's about the little moments. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about three little moments during my time at Pella High. First, sitting in a brown booth at El Charo, a classmate said to me, if you don't find something, no matter how small, to bring joy into your life every day, what's the point? To me, this stuck because I believed if I could do just one thing that made me happy, and I focused on that, I would be happy. The second was in passing conversation with Mr. Solomon in the hallway. I had mentioned something that I was working on and something that I was struggling with, and he said, be patient, work with it, see what happens. I believe that this stuck with me, well, because I'm not very patient. You can imagine my surprise when I found out that we would have to wait a month before walking up on this stage. The third was when I was sitting in a room at the Career Academy when I met Mr. Beckel for the first time. He said to the group, one thing we have to preach is the constant, unwavering support of our kids. Little did I know, but my brain chose those few lessons, those few moments, to teach me something. These three small little moments came to me before we entered the world that we live in today. And small lessons, little moments can have a major impact even during something as overwhelming as a global pandemic. The first moment can teach us that we must make every effort to do something, just one small thing to bring joy into the lives of ourselves and those around us. And so I repeat, if you don't find something, no matter how small, to bring joy into your life every day, what's the point? What Mr. Solomon's moment can show us is absolutely invaluable. Never before has our generation faced times as trying as these. Never before have we had to change our plans over and over and over again to work for the situation. And so I repeat, be patient, work with it, see what happens. The last moment can teach us to always have faith in those around us, even in trying times. And so, I repeat, one thing we have to preach is the constant, unwavering support of our kids. Now, I want to propose something. What would happen if we were all intentional about remembering the little moments and learning from them? Would it help us be prepared for tough times such as these? Would it brighten our outlook on life? Now, we know that these last few months won't be the only time in our lives that things get hard, but I'd like to think that if we can go through life learning from the little moments, the future for the class of 2020 isn't any less bright. Thank you. Our class speaker is Mr. Douglas Cutler. Mr. Cutler has taught mathematics for 26 years, the past 15 here at Pella High School, as well as coaching cross country and track and field. If you don't love math or running, you may not know Mr. Cutler well, but he hopes each of us have something in our lives that we are equally passionate about. 
please welcome the Mr. Cutler. Congratulations, class of 2020. Let's not bury the lead here. You finally made it. This is your time. It's just so nice to see everyone in one place all together to enjoy this, I can't tell you. But I'd like to thank the student council for giving me a bit of time to share with you. Uh, this is unique for me. Normally, during this time, if things were typical, I'd be coaching track and field uh, and be getting ready for the state track meet or at the state track meet. And so in the past, when I've been asked to speak, I've had to turn that down. So I'm very thankful for this opportunity. It's one of the small blessings to come of the times that we happen to be involved with right now. There's that word again, time. When I wrote the first draft of this speech, Mrs. Jones noticed I kept using the word time over and over again, and so she said, that's gotta be the theme of your speech. Well, that's easy for me then, because those of you who have me in class know that I get a little excited when I get to talk about mathematical dimensions. The easiest, of course, are length, width, and height. But I get really excited, and I have my goosebump moments. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. Yeah, they're there. When I get a chance to talk maybe about a mathematical dimension beyond the first three, four-dimensional space is great, gravity is fantastic, existence itself, believe it or not, can be studied as a dimension. But time is always everyone's favorite. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend a little time and talk about time. Let's go back in time first. Can you put yourself in your shoes four years ago as you entered high school, whether here or somewhere else, what were you most excited to experience? What were you most fearful of? Can you remember? How many of the things that you expected to happen happened exactly the way you thought they were going to happen four years ago? I can't imagine any of you pictured yourself six feet away from everyone else in all directions on this day four years ago. I certainly know you probably didn't expect the last 105 days to be what they became. But this time was still uniquely yours. So, and I'm so proud of how I, I witnessed many of you embrace it. See, every single one of you, this is my first main point about time, is that everything that occurs in our lives has a purpose. Each of you has been fearfully and wonderfully made. And everything you do, everything you did, whether that was spend more time on the honor roll, or perhaps in Mr. Beckel's office. Everything you didn't do, even if you chose not to run cross country or take calculus, I wish more of you had. All of it has made you perfectly who you are today. Sitting there in those chairs, you're perfect. You're exactly who you were supposed to be, and time has brought you to that. But now here's where the really fun part happens. See, I have length, width, and height. This space is my own. It's mine. It's all about me. But time, we share that together. It's the sharing of time and relationships that makes it so very precious. I think I can at least empathize in part with what you've gone through these past 105 days. Late in my junior year of high school, my father sought my sat my younger brother, sister, and I down and at, after dinner, and, and this was not a normal thing for us to all gather as a family after we had eaten, so we knew something weird was going on. And we found out we were moving from Kansas City, or from Denver, Colorado, to Kansas City, Missouri. Now, some of you who moved during your high school years, and you know it's not exactly the most exciting thing first when you're told. My brother and sister were upset. But I'll be real with you, I was really upset. Let's be real, this was my senior year. Now, I didn't have events canceled like you did. I was still going to have my senior cross-country season, track season, prom, graduation. But at least at that moment, I was looking at those events without the relationships that I had at the time. So they felt empty. But here's the funny thing about time. It has a funny way of working itself out. If I hadn't moved from Denver to Kansas City, there's no way I probably would have ever heard of a small college called Truman State University in Kirksville, Missouri. If I don't go to Kirksville, Missouri, I don't meet my future wife. Who, by the way, at the same time I was moving, same summer that I moved from Denver to Kansas City, 
she moved from Chicago to a small town in Iowa. Oh. See, I didn't appreciate it then. There was no way I could have. But again, I remind you, time is shared. I was sharing events and experiences with my future wife four years before I ever met her. So what experiences are you going to have in the next four years that are a result of the time you're living in? Ten years from now, what people and places will you see 30 years from now because of changes that have occurred during your time now? I know not all the changes have been positive, don't get me wrong. I don't expect you not to feel cheated somewhat. I don't expect you not to feel sad. I did. I went through a period of sadness, anger, and depression. But there was a bigger plan in place. Because if I don't do all, if I don't move from the simple thing of my father moving from Denver to Kansas City, I wouldn't be standing before you now. So how to finish our time together t tonight? Well, I'm going to ask you to forgive me because I'm going to give you one last math lesson. Sorry, I just got to do it. My final thought for you is that the only thing I hear too often right now is so many people wishing I just want things to go back to normal. I understand the thought. But unless you're sitting in my statistics class and we're talking about the importance of the central limit theorem, I still quote it. Maybe not. But unless we're doing that, normal is not what I see before me in your faces. And normal is not what I want to apply to your future. Be more. Want more. Do more. Don't let your life's curve be flattened. Raise your curve to the heights it can possibly reach. Whether you're going on for further education, Maybe you're getting a job, joining the military, perhaps you're taking a gap year just to do missions or step back and see what pulls at your heart. Your life has more than one possibility to it. Come on, students. It has all the possibilities in the universe. <laughs> Class of 2020, you have been extraordinary. Sitting there in front of us today, you are extraordinary. Please, I, I urge you, go forth and continue to be extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you, Annalee, Hannah, Grayson, and Mr. Cutler. Your speeches were absolutely wonderful. Seniors, please join your class. recognize individuals who have earned special academic honors throughout their high school careers. These students are wearing honor roll cords with a medallion, representing an overall grade point average of 3.5 or higher during their first seven semesters. Will these honorees please stand and be recognized at this time? sitting in front of me today, you have reached your first significant goal in life. 
graduating high school. Enjoy this moment because it's only the beginning. Tomorrow signals the start of your next journey. What is your plan? Is it graduating from college? Is it getting that job and using your training you received in high school? Are you entering the armed forces and serving your country? Maybe you plan to head out on a mission trip to spread the good word and make a difference. Whatever it may be, I would like to use this stage today to give you a few words of advice. Number one, never go to bed angry at someone you love. Number two, stop and smell the roses, or maybe in our case, admire the tulips. And number three is a life challenge. So let's revisit. Number one, my parents raised me to never go to bed mad at someone I love. You never really know when your last moment with someone might be. So cherish every one of them. It makes me think of the day before spring break. I wish I had given a few more high fives, knuckle bumps, handshakes, or even stopped to talk to more students or staff. I never would have guessed that that day would be my last opportunity to see many of you. I wish I had made more of that day, not that I was mad at anybody. Just looking back, I regret not taking time that day to really let people know how much I appreciate them. So let me use this stage. I have today to say I love you guys. It's been great getting to know the class of 2020. You have been a joy for a man who's in his first year as a principal. I'll never forget you guys. Okay, that's happy stuff, I promise. <laughs> Second rule, stop and smell roses, or in our case, admire the tulips. So I remember walking through town back when I wrote this speech for our first plan for graduation. I was sad that my first tulip time was canceled, and I noticed that the tulips looked beautiful anyway. And they didn't care that our world was turned upside down. They were still beautiful. And I had to smile, along with the other 250 people that were in the square. <laughs> it made me think, no matter how life seems, there's always a reason to celebrate. I hope everybody listening today understands how much of a blessing each day is. So no matter how gloomy things may look, or how they may seem watching the news, make the most of every opportunity and know that we have been given this day. I try to teach my boys at home that they will never lose. My hope is that they will either win or learn. Even if a score is low or failure feels terrible, it will, it will be tough to swallow. The hurt simply means that you put in a lot of work and you care an awful lot for what you are doing. But no matter how rough times may seem, there is always something to be learned. And lastly, number three, this one's actually my challenge in the class of 2020. Do not let high school be the best time of your life. Where I hope Pella High School has been great and full of wonderful memories of friends, sports, art, and top-notch education. My challenge for you is to ensure that this does not turn into the good old days. Make sure that you grow with every stage of your life. I know that you've all been well prepared by your families, friends, and the wonderful staff at Pella High School, but leave us in the wake of your future. To sum things up, I'll call upon the wise words of John Gordon, author of the book, The Power of Positive Leadership. He says, seniors, this virus may have stolen your senior year, but it cannot and will not steal your future. While you'll always remember this painful time, you'll also be the generation that doesn't take anything for granted. You'll know what it's like to have something taken from you in a moment. And as a result, you'll appreciate what you have when you have it. You'll value your relationships, make the most of your opportunities, and create a great future. I know it's easy to be bitter about what has happened, but choose to get better. Don't look backwards, look forwards. Stay positive, work hard, believe in the best. What you believe will, be, will determine what you create. To the class of 2020, you have grit. You have been through tough things, and trust me, you will experience more. I know that your future is bright, and I speak for the staff of Palo High School in saying we love you, and we are very proud of you. Go Dutch.
at this time, I'd like to invite the superintendent of public community schools to the podium, Mr. Greg Evelyn. Class of 2020, this is the time you've been waiting for. Speeches are over, time to get your diplomas. A little different this year, uh, but we are so, so glad that we're here with you in this place and we're all together. And so it's my distinct honor and pleasure uh, to present these students as having successfully completed both the necessary requirements of the state of Iowa and the Pella Community School District and that, therefore, by the authority of the Pella Community School Board, I declare each of you graduates of Pella Community High School. And I ask now for you to come forward and receive your diplomas. Pella School Board will present the diplomas, and Mr. Schulte will read their names. So Mr. Schulte, if you'd please come up, and the first row can get in place. Allison Marie Almond. Anthony Benjamin Adolfson. Reagan Summer Arkema. Dexter Edward Backham. Annalie Grace Babcock. Jaden Anthony Bacon. Justice Renee Bacon. River John Baker. Sadie Ann Madison Beal. Drake Alexander Beard. Kayla Deanne Byer. Joseph Audrion Gukelman. Alyssa Shirley Blink. Caleb James Robert Blom. Jordan Anne Marie Bogarts. Aiden Thomas Brumwell. Allison Joy Brand. Jared Michael Bruxford. Alexis Renee Briggs. Andrew Wayne Birkeland. Zoe Marin Card. Kieran Jacob Voss Campbell. Courtney Marie Chaplin. Jonathan Kenneth Carlo. Andrea Sal Chez. <coughs> Mitchell David Clark. Angelica Ray Clark. Clayton Todd Cummings. Tierney May Copeland. Blake John Darnell. Grace Elizabeth Coddington. Garrett Dean DeYoung. 
Madison, Diana, Cubbage. Matthew, Joel, DeYoung. Alexandria, Colette, DeArmond. Courtney, Lynn, Dunnick. Mason, Fernando, Diaz, Bandera. Lisa, Venus, Dykstra. Camden, Lee, Dunnick. Erica, Nicole, Egestal. Tanner, Adam, Dunsbergen. Grace, Marie, Eisenbarth. Grace, Lillian, Emmer. John, Nile, Fetty. Jenna, Vene, Gallier. Grant, Radakovich, Fuller. Mia, Alexa, Gonzalez. Alan, Jameson, Fur. Hannah, Joanne, Grimm. Thomas, Virgil, Gall. Brittany, Nicole, Gripman. Jackson, Corey, Godike. Heather, Nicole, High Stand. Marcus, Dale, Godike. Abby, Joe, Hill. Nicholas, John, Grandia. Emma, Marie, Holtrup. Colin, Jay, Henry. Ellen, Ann, Howard. Elijah, Joel, Hernandez. Ashley, Suzanne, Hunt. Drew, Justin, Hillman. Hannah, Marie, Kendall. Jalen, Matthew, Howe. Haley, Joe, Kauzan. <laughs> Dakota, Jacob, Huddleston. Bailey, Ann, Cruzman. Mason, Kirk, Herder. Morgan, Storm, Lejoie. Zabian, Paul, Heisinga. Destiny, Marie, Lawson. Benjamin, Carl, Jablonski. Heaven, Lee, Leach. Christian, Lee, Jameson. Mason, Thomas, Johnston. Sarah, Louise, Lindy. Wyatt, John, Kelp. Vanessa, Ann, McGuire. Hunter, Guy, Kephart. Caroline, Ruby, McMartin. Cody, Jay, Kime. Alicia, my niece, Myers. Silas, Will, Klein. 
Isabella Estelle Mick. Cody William Kramer. Jenna Lynn Amber Morales. Jeremiah Mark Kriegel. Lynn Marie Nickel. Camden Benjamin Lambert. Kathleen Marie Parrish. Trip Jacob Langstrat. Allison Jane Polius. Dawson Corey Lee. Emma Lynn Plyma. Matthew James Lunsford. Lily Ann Pumphrey. Cole Jackson Mayfield. Lexia Brelin Rao. Christian Osborne Manchester. Cassidy Ann Reed. Vincent Dean Mikulik. Jalen Alexis Riggin. Reed Evan Miller. Ellie Christine Rorda. Jacob Thomas Netter. Emily Rachel Rosendahl. Jackson Keller Neal. Elaine Morgan Skippers. Tyler Eugene Nielsen. Sarah Patricia Samini. Jonathan Daniel Oltman. Madison Brianna Salt. Warren Gerald Page. Kayla Ray Tauke. Grayson James Percy. Courtney L. Thompson. Liam Thomas Peppers. Braden Daniel Peterson, Amber Janelle Van Gorp, Aaron Lee Van Gorp, Jeffrey Kwong Vong, Isabella Grace Van Gorp. Blake Ryan Recker. Mackenzie Reese Van Manen. Tyler Stephen Reynolds. Emily Caroline Van Norton. Jordan Dean Roseboom. Tessa Kate Lee Vandermolen. Brandon William Reich. Kaya Christine Vanderwerf. Levi Benjamin Sales. Lily Grace V. 
Villalobos. Trevor, Paul, Skackle. Cassandra, Abigail, Hopi. Dakota, Wade, Skippers. Hannah, Nicole, Voss. David, Allen, Scouten. Rebecca, Lynn, Weirs. Jacob, Christian, Schulte. Braxton, Daniel, Shannon. Logan, James, Shetterly. Nicholas, Lee, Singer. Tyler, Evan, Sturk. Easton, Pitch, Stelter. Jack, Gabriel, Stratton. Trayton, Jamon, Sturgeon. Michael, Duane, Struve. Landon, Todd, Toom. Seth, David, Van Hooplum. Colby, Curtis, Van Gorp. Brennan, Michael, Van Forst. Noah, Alexander, Van Park. Colton, Dale, Van Zanten. Parker, Matthew, Van Wardhuizen. Nathaniel, Lee, Voss. Jamie, Villavon. Logan, Dean, White. Cameron, Blake, Westerkamp. Trey, Justice, Wood. Justin, Thomas, Whitlock. Hi, Yang. Seniors, please stand. This is the time where you get to turn your tassels. Please move your tassels from your right to your left. Parents, family, friends, and community, I present to you the class of 2020.
Oh, I need my jacket. Uh, just give me a second.